Well, the lights, the glamour, the food, and the parties, all wall-to-wall -wall celebrities, the power, all the fun stuff happening, the 96 Academy Awards happening on Sunday. And here to give us a little bit of history about the awards is our favorite historian, Rafi Andel. You do, yes. you do you get won. the Oscar. You won. Look at all these. Are these all yours? You brought That's them with right. You. Oh, my You're record here. Yes, yes. Very decorated. Rafi, give us a glimpse of what it was like in the early days of Hollywood. Well, Hollywood started, believe it or not, as an agricultural community, and it was a real estate developer that went out there and started to try to get development out there, first trying to get ranching, but eventually, because he failed at it, eventually got electricity and banking and other such things there. And in that development is when the Hollywood and the film industry starts to come up. So one of the things that happens is there's a movie that's completed there in 1908 and then another one in 1910. And as a result, there's a flood of motion picture attempts in Hollywood, or it becomes called Hollywood, from the East Coast because they're trying to get away from Thomas Edison's company, which had patents that it was trying to enforce. So in trying to do so, they got away from it because it was far away and had good weather. And that's how they ended up in Southern California. And the rise of the big five studios, including names we know today like MGM and Fox and mm -hmm. Warner Brothers is still there. And so that's how Hollywood become, it starts to develop into kind of what we know today. Now, what's really fascinating, we think about the Hollywood sign. It was originally Hollywood land, and that was also a uh, real estate development kind of promotion. That's what that sign was there. It was supposed to be temporary, and it was in the right. 1920s, the roaring 20s, right, showing off the new technology. It was actually an electric sign originally with all these oh. light bulbs. That's right. Did it so say Hollywood it track, Land? It said Hollywood Land. Okay. That's right. And so, it, it, but it became such a big hit. It stayed there. It's gone through kind of its ups and downs in the decades since, but sure. it has always been remained there and, of course, gone through restoration and adjusted some. But what, became, what was a real estate development kind of hype actually changed into becoming this sort of landmark for becoming Hollywood in its glamour days in the 1920s. Nice, wow. nice. Awesome. Let's talk about the first Oscars. Yeah. So in that those glamour held. days is exactly when the Oscars take place. The first one is in 1929, and that to me kind of kicks off the golden age of Hollywood into the 1930s. Now we think of the Depression because the first Oscars are held just a few months before the crash and the Depression, mm -hmm. but during the Depression, people got away from the difficulties going to the theaters. These are huge hits in the days like Gone with the Wind, Wizard of Oz, Snow White, Jezebel, Stagecoach, like legendary films, right? So think about that period when the Academy Awards come up. Now the Motion Picture Academy, which, which establishes itself in Hollywood after the exodus from the East Coast that sure. I described, is who comes up with doing an award to help promote the industry. Yeah. That is also part of what puts Hollywood on the map because that's where the awards are happening. But the first awards, you would not believe, were actually pretty private. It was a kind of like a hotel banquet. The winners were known three months in advance, published wow. in the LA Times, no okay. red carpet, no broadcast. I mean, no it's a completely different. The... No surprise. What? No. <laughs> That's right. They That's knew right. beforehand. They, right. they already knew, but they were trying to promote the industry mm. and get some of the biggest winners of all time from this period. Now, what's really fascinating about about that first award also is that let's kind of look at what it size. looks like. Yeah, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> the size did vary actually over time. It eventually got standardized in the 1940s, okay. which is 13 and a half inches, the full size, okay. and eight and a half pounds made of bronze and 24 karat uh, uh, gold plated. Although during World War II, it was plaster and uh, painted, but but even that, the Academy allowed them to come back after World War II and trade their award in to trade oh. you know, to they don't keep the lower quality award from the hardship days Interesting. because they were trying to save the medal, of course. But my point is that when this started, the design is what people think about, and this is the original design. While the size may have changed, the original design is with you know you, you, when you look at it closely, is holding the it's a stylized version, an artistic version, mm -hmm. but it's supposed to represent a knight holding a sword, protecting the industry. Yeah. And if you look, it's standing on a reel of film with five uh, pieces to, underneath it, and those five elements in the, in the reel represent writers, technicians, producers, actors, and uh, directors, all okay. five components going into a film. Really cool. Yeah, nice. who's your pick for best picture? <laughs> well, let me actually say this for, for us locally. For Best Picture, I'm going to say Oppenheimer because I'm a history okay, guy, good. right? Okay. But I want to just mention real quick a couple of shout-outs to local Arkansas real folks quick. who we'll won Oscars. Go. Billy Bob Thornton, yeah. oh, who yeah. you, of course, you know, but you may not know, Mary Steenburgen, who won in 1980 yeah, for the uh, Supporting Actress. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Little Rock native. Yep, so exactly. Arkansas. Thanks, Rafi. Thanks for joining us, oh, Phil. On the We're excited about the Oscars. You've already won one. <laughs> That's right. These are all ours. Congratulations <laughs> to us.